the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 192, Isaiah 56 to 59. Sabbath and water the garden. The devotion God is pleased with is to show effort to live according to His word, to love Him, and to sincerely love our neighbors. First point God lets the whole world know that they could be saved through the court of the Gentiles in the Jerusalem temple. God told the people through Isaiah that judgment day was approaching, and so they were to be righteous and to keep Sabbath in order to receive God's blessing. God told the people that keeping Sabbath was the basis of the laws of a kingdom of priests. God furthermore told the people of how his vision extended to all nations, and this was shown through the court of the Gentiles in the Jerusalem temple. This was God inviting all foreign people to come to his feast. There were many people who could not come as they did not know or keep to the laws in Deuteronomy. But God had made it so that anyone could come before God, even if they were not from South Judah, if they kept the laws of a kingdom of priests, then there would be a way. God emphasized that the court of the Gentiles was for anyone to come and pray to God. Second point, God rebuked the people of South Judah for their idol worship and lifestyle. God rebuked the sins of the leaders of South Judah through Isaiah. God outlined how they were lazy and greedy as well as their other sins. Although their country was being threatened, they felt no responsibility. God also rebuked the corruption of South Judah. The biggest sin was their idol worship. God especially rebuked them for worshiping Molech. Ahaz had worshipped this false god, and so God rebuked the people for turning away from him. God promised them that although they had sinned, if they repented, then God would find ways to restore them. God's mercy and patience has no limit. God wanted to use them to bless all nations. Thus, God persuaded them, consulted them, and taught them. But the people still went in their evil ways and so could not escape God's punishment. Third point, God explained the first thing that he was happy to see. God told Isaiah to shout out loud, for the repentance of the people of South Judah. As the trumpets were blown to warn the start of war, the people were to be warned that they did not have too much time left to repent. God furthermore rebuked them for their surface level faith and their fasting. God said that although they appeared to be obeying God on the surface, they did as they pleased on the knees. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, lovers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. God told Isaiah of the fasting that he looked favorably upon. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen, to lose the chains of injustice? and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. It is not to show your fruit with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to close them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. Fourth point, to those who kept Sabbath and made it holy, God promised that he would make them into a well-watered garden. God told Isaiah that he would bless those who kept God's laws. God explained in detail of the things the people were not to do during Sabbath 
as well as the blessings they would receive if they kept it. If you keep your feet from breaking the Sabbath and from doing as you please on my holiday, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holiday honorable, and if you honor it by not going your own way and not doing as you please or speaking idle words. Fifth point, God's justice and God's love are one. The reason for South Judah's punishment was not because God lacked power. These were the sins of the people. The first was their bloodshed and their lies. The second was their unrighteous trials. The third was their love of evil. And so God proclaimed that he would reveal justice among these people. Isaiah proclaimed the grace of God's righteousness. God punished the people because of his justice and forgave them because of his love. God's grace of a kingdom of God and his covenant was indeed amazing. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.